Hi guys, welcome to Product Overdas Point. Okay, so in this Flutter tutorial, let's check out how to validate a phone number text field in Flutter. Okay, so here phone number should contain 10 digit phone number and it can also contain a bracket, dash and a country code in it. Okay, so here I have created a dummy app just for an intro of this tutorial. So you can see, I can enter 10 digit phone number and after entering 10 digit phone number it is getting validated and if i enter 9 then it is saying that it uh, enter a valid phone number and here i can also give a country code for example 91 okay and if you want to give a brackets at a country uh, code or sorry the area code then you can give something like this and you can also give dashes over here okay so some numbers are something in this format so you can just give spaces and dashes and everything so you can see so this is a valid phone number and if i enter one more number then it is saying me it is a invalid phone number okay so let's implement the same by making use of a regex uh, equation or a pattern okay so now we are in our android studio ide and here i have created a new flutter project by name phone number regex and uh, here i have removed all the default code and for now here we have simply a scaffold widget which has a column widget where i am going to implement a text field where a user can enter his phone number okay so for the text uh, field i have created a input decoration just to give decoration borders and everything okay so if the user uh, clicks on the text field then i will just show this uh, focus border where i am going to show a green border at a corner border of our uh, text field and if it is inactive then i am going to show a blue something like that blue okay so so this is the input decoration just for time saving purpose of this video tutorial I'm, i have created this already okay so let's get started so here i will just create a form which will contain a text field where a user can enter a phone number okay so let's me do that so form child text form field okay so here for the form we need to attach a key global key where we can detect and validate this form by making use of its key and for our text field we need a text editor controller so let's create them over here okay so text edit controller so i'll name it as phone controller is equal to text edit controller and then for our form i will just create a global key so final global key which will be of type uh, form uh, state okay so form key I will name it as and then uh, use global key object form state okay so let's attach these two objects to our form and uh, text field controller so here key form key and for our text edit uh, text form i will just add the controller that we have created so form yeah, like this okay so now let's add a decoration that we have created to our text field so decoration and here i just need to pass our build input decoration and it accept two parameters that is one icon and one is the text hint okay so here let's pass an icon so we can pass as uh, phone icon icons dot phone and for a hint i can just pass phone number okay so now let's give a keyboard type so input type Uh, text input type will be of time phone number so whenever the app will get opened in phone devices then the keyboard will be of type number pad okay now let's validate the form 
so here there is a property called as validator so inside this validator whatever the user enters will be stored in this value and we need to validate this value that the user has entered okay so for that if value dot is empty null safety dot is empty then we need to return a string called as uh, please enter a phone number else if and here we are going to attach our regular expression where we are going to check if our uh, uh, phone number entered by a user is matching with the regular expression or no okay so here not regular expression so this is the inbuilt function that we can make use of so r and here i am going to attach our regular expression that i have created so i will just copy it so this is our regular expression dot has match has match with the use with the value that the user has entered okay now here if it does not match with our regular expression so here i have just attached a uh, not keyword not key and if it does not match with this then we are going to throw an error to the user okay so i will just return please enter a valid phone number something like this okay and now we need to detect each key that the user has entered so here what i can make use of is on changed on changed value and with this value we need to attach this value with our form key okay so key form dot current state question mark dot is valid valid validate okay so whenever a user press one number so this will be this will get called and it will call the validator automatically and check if it uh, matches with this pattern or no and depending on that we will get a alert message for a user that saying please enter a phone number or a valid phone number okay so let's check this application by running on our website web browser sorry okay so we'll just stop this one restart it okay so the app got relaunched okay so let me give a padding over here so what i can do is i can just wrap this uh filled with padding widget and let's change the padding to 16 hot refresh okay so now you can see i can enter 8 7 and i can just enter any number so after entering 10 number it is showing me a validation successful and then i can add a country code so you can see until i add plus sign with a number it is showing an error then after i complete the country code part it is been validated and here i can just add brackets is so you can see underscore i cannot add i can add dash symbol dash symbol so if i enter one more number then it will show an error saying it is a invalid number so you can see okay so that's all for this video tutorial you can just get the regular expression from my website protocolespoint.com and you can use it in your application to validate a phone number so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocolespoint thank you